All right, well, people seem to like this uh, latest thing I've done here. Uh, most people, anyway. Uh, this uh, free spin, I called it, is uh, using a solar-powered toy drive unit. And there are all kinds of these little figurines that move with uh, ambient room light. And uh, um, this uses about, starts up at about 300 lux. And if you get over... Uh, Eight or nine hundred, hitting up to a thousand, which is direct sunlight. It it goes unstable. So uh, somebody asked, what happens if you put it in direct sunlight? It it just gets to a certain RPM and then goes unstable. So um, anyway, that's uh, the situation on that. This is a cloudy day here in Southern California, and this is what I mean by ambient light. It's ambient solar light. It'll work under a a, a lamp, of course, uh, also. But uh, you need about uh, 300 lux uh, to get this to, to go um, at a nice speed. Otherwise, it just kind of flips around. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this. This was a, a lot of fun to do. This was this uh, rotor that had magnets facing down, which I hadn't done before, at least on a project like this. And they're all uh, uh, one pole, and that's one pole that pulses. And when it gets up to a certain RPM, there's a feedback going back through that coil. It causes this circuit to fire um, on its own with the magnet going by it. So it's a little bit different than some of the other pulse circuits I've worked with. Uh, some of my self-start pulse circuits work like this. But um, anyway, um, today I decided to um, go to the next stage and do a, um, a second one. And this one's called Free Spin 2. And this one here... Uh, what I wanted was I wanted a more stable rotor, and this is the more conventional rotors that I've done with the magnets on the outside of a jar lid. And uh, you can see how this thing here is just struggling to get going here. I'll give it a little help. And uh, then it gets going pretty good. This design here is much more stable. And I am using a rotor that was really designed by Magnet Man. And I have modified it slightly, and uh, I'm going to be putting my name on it, too, because uh, this is a lid, a jar lid, which is uh, my name, lid motor. But uh, his design on how to make this was absolutely brilliant. And I recommend you go to his channel, Magnet Man 2010, and look how he has made this stable. And what it is, is it's a, uh, a needle with a magnet down there that it sits on and then a magnet up here that attracts the top of the needle and then uh, the rotor has four magnets and he has found out that you have to be real careful if you overspin this the magnets will throw so uh, he puts tape around them but the brilliant idea that he had was the jig and the jig uh, is something where you drill a hole in a board using a drill press and then you take a lid and you find the center of that lid. This one has a dimple in it, so it was easy to find. And then you're able to put that needle in there absolutely perfect. And then put the glue on it and seal it up with the glue. And then you have a uh, perfectly aligned needle. And then you use these cross hatches here using a perfectly square whatever to get the magnets exactly perfect on that rotor. Then your balance is good. Now, the way I did mine here, this is why mine's a little different, is I had a thin piece of wood here. I don't have a drill press uh, in my house. I have it in the garage. So for people that don't have a drill press, that I thought, well, that kills that idea. But I found out if you very carefully shove a big needle through a thin piece of wood like this, making careful that both axes are parallel when you do that, and then you find a lid that has a dimple on it. Let's see if you can see that. This has a little dimple on it. And you very, very carefully put a hole in that dimple right there. You can get this exactly perfect if you use a compass and draw the diameter of that <coughs> lid on this board and then line the lid up perfectly on that board. And then you can get that needle exactly perpendicular in both directions and then put a drop of uh, crazy glue on it and seal it up. 
and uh, that makes a really really nice rotor for these micro amp little projects so like I say this is the the latest one this is the free spin 2 design that works on uh, ambient room light and uh, this was my next step in the process and I do thank Magnet Man 2010 for his excellent idea on how to make that rotor stable thanks for watching